Hello, it's John Bauman, and uh, here is a brief explanation of what happened uh, before and during the 2008-2009 recession. Here is a, um, a slide with uh, really all the parties that were involved in the causes of the, the crash, the housing slash financial crash. You can see we have lenders, banks, mortgage companies, borrowers, people that took out the mortgages to buy a house. You've got government, Federal Reserve, Congress, White House, White House, <laughs> Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, also government supported companies. And then insurance companies, private insurance companies who insured mortgage-backed securities. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then uh, the rating agencies were not without blame. So let's take a look at exactly uh, what were the causes and the effects. So before 2007, 2008, housing prices were rising rapidly every year. Some houses would appreciate or increase in value by 10-15% a year, sometimes more. And more and more households, as you can imagine, wanted to take advantage of those price gains and uh, were interested in buying a house. So they would contact a, a bank, Bank of America, City Chase, or uh, any mortgage lender to find out if they can get a loan to buy the house. And uh, banks, uh, of course, were willing to lend money to households. Uh, they would charge fees and so forth, and would, uh, they would make money, and that would be a source of income for the banks. A government encouraged this kind of home ownership. They felt that many people owning a home would be good for the economy, and they, uh, the government, uh, particularly Congress and the White House, also felt that many uh, low-income families should be a part of uh, this economic growth, part of this stimulus, and should be able to, uh, in, as a household, uh, take advantage of these um, gains in home prices. So Congress passed many laws that encouraged banks, and provided incentives to banks to make many loans, even to people who couldn't really afford it, and the White House did the same thing. They, of course, uh, approved and signed many of these bills. The Federal Reserve is, the, uh, is our central banking system. And the Federal Reserve provided lots of liquidity, essentially printed a lot of money, and circulated a lot of money in the economy to make it possible for banks to make so many loans. The government's involvement in this area encouraged homeownership, it increased demand for houses, and as demand increased for houses, prices of houses would rise even more. As prices of houses would rise, people would want to take even more advantage of buying a house, and this would further stimulate rising housing prices, people wanting to borrow money to buy a house, banks lending that money for households to purchase a house and so forth. Banks that would sell these loans, that would make these mortgage loans, would get uh, commissions and fees and so forth from, from uh, every single mortgage that they would make. So let's say they would get $5,000 for each loan that they uh, generated. If they had 10 mortgages, it would be 10 times 5,000. The bank would make $50,000. If they would make 100 loans, it would be a hundred times five thousand and uh, because there was so much demand for mortgages uh, banks eventually let's say after they made a hundred loans or two hundred mortgage loans they would run out of money so what they decided to do is they would sell these loans to other companies and sometimes they would bundle the the loans they would sell a hundred of them at the same time bundle them and they would uh, create what's called mortgage backed securities uh, it's very expensive for anyone to buy a hundred loans, so the banks would uh, split up the hundred loans, uh, just like you can buy mutual funds, uh, stock mutual funds. You can buy little pieces of companies and little pieces of um, many shares. Uh, the same was done with uh, mortgage loans. So many of these banks uh, would generate these mortgage-backed securities, 
and investors, people that were interested in getting um, the returns, the interest on these loans, uh, would purchase them. Many of these loans were also bought by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. These are government-supported um, banks, so to speak. And uh, eventually Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac would own a large majority of all of the uh, mortgage loans. Now, in order to be able to sell these mortgage-backed securities, uh, investors needed to know that they were safe, that they wouldn't, um, the uh, value of the mortgage-backed securities wouldn't go sour, just like any other investment. And so there were rating agencies like Fitch, Standard and Standard and Poor's, Moody's, and the rating agencies actually uh, said for many years that these mortgage-backed securities were triple A rated, the highest rating, so they were very safe. Well, these mortgage-backed securities and these home loans in general uh, were fairly safe as long as housing prices increased because even if a person could not make their monthly payments and didn't have enough money for the mortgage, they could at least sell the house and the house would be worth more, it would be a profit, and those families would be okay. But uh, because of the increased demand and really the artificially stimulated demand, housing prices became so high and loans became very large that many people uh, ended up not being able to make their monthly mortgage payments. In the beginning, these banks actually offered uh, mortgages where the people would pay um, less money the first couple of years, so the monthly payment would be reduced with the idea that after about two or three years, the payments would start to increase. Of course, that would get even more people into trouble because that would provide incentives for um, homeowners to get into the house and it would get them into trouble after two or three years when the monthly payments were much higher. Well, this all led to foreclosures and uh, people eventually couldn't afford their homes anymore. Millions of houses uh, had to be sold and um, all this extra selling and supply caused housing prices to go down. As housing prices decreased, we got even more foreclosures because uh, uh, many people now saw that their, the value of their house actually became less than the total loan, so they owed more to the bank than their house was worth. That actually provided an incentive for many people to physically just get up and leave the house, even if they could afford the monthly payments. So foreclosures just got out of hand. This led to many bank failures. Investment companies failed. Many people who had invested in these mortgage-backed securities, uh, they lost uh, tons of money. AIG got into trouble because they actually insured many of these investments. Of course, as these investments soured, com insurance companies like AIG lost tons of money and uh, that caused a big uh, financial panic in the market. And uh, all of this uh, financial panic then eventually led to a stock market uh, prices going down. The stock market pretty much crashed in 2007-2008. And this led to then the e real economic losses. Uh, many people saw their pension money go down. They couldn't afford to retire anymore. They couldn't afford to spend as much money. This, so this led to real economic losses. Spending in the economy went down. That caused many job losses. Unemployment went up, which created even more foreclosures because now uh, people that were previously fine and owned a home, because they lost their job, couldn't afford their monthly payments anymore, and more foreclosures led to worse problems, and that uh, led to the worst recession since uh, really the Great Depression of the 1930s. Should overseeing government agencies like the SEC or like the FDIC or the Federal Reserve, who are supposed to supervise our financial system, should they have anticipated this, should they have seen the warning signs, and many people say yes, and they're at fault as well. But to sum up uh, the entire story here, of course, uh, anytime there is borrowing and lending, there are banks involved and there are homeowners involved. So irresponsible borrowing, irresponsible lending lies at the heart of this. However, uh, the complicated uh, thing is that uh, much of this was encouraged by the Federal Reserve's uh, 
excessive printing of money. The White House stimulated uh, much of that uh, uh, home ownership and purchases of houses, as well as Congress, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, the government-supported agencies, they provided uh, much of the money and liquidity for these loans, so they were at fault as well. These, the creation of these mortgage-backed securities, uh, and then many of them were insured by AIG, that didn't help at all. And the fact that these rating agencies um, rated these investments at triple A, which turned out to be, of course, uh, very deceiving, uh, that didn't help very much either. And all of that, of course, then eventually led to these foreclosures and uh, economic uh, uh, hardships.